Hello and welcome to Sentinel Skills. Video Surveillance System, VSS, commonly known as Close Circuit Television, CCTV, system, enhances surveillance, visual assessment and response capabilities of any security operation. In order to suitably respond to any unusual activity, VSS has become a necessity for all high-profile premises, including but not limited to, important strategic installations, nuclear facilities, airports, banks, shopping malls, hotels, railway stations, etc., with the production of digital recording of incidents and events as quality evidence. Over a period, VSS has progressively evolved from the old concept of CCTV to a highly advanced protective tool. The main difference between the two is that the CCTV system only links cameras to a monitor using a transmission system whereas VSS integrates multiple physical security components, traditionally working independently prior to the advancement of this system. For instance, in most high-profile premises, intrusion detection systems, IDS, and VSS are essentially integrated to have required deterrence. With the help of modern gadgets, VSS's ability can further be enhanced by broadcasting its videos live through the internet. Before moving forward, it would be more appropriate to go through the components and some standard terms, which are closely related to VSS. Camera. Cameras convert optical view provided by the lens to an electromechanical signal for transmission. Cameras are available in different types like analog, digital, megapixel, internet protocol, IP, infrared, IR, thermal etc. Lens. Lens provides optical view and determines level of clarity and size of the scene. Lenses are also available in different varieties like wide angle, fixed focal length, standard, telephoto, zoom, very focal, etc. Field of view. It is an angle that determines the extent of the view and scene. A small FOV angle provides a narrow scene and a large FOV provides a wider scene. Lenses also determine what amount and type of image will ultimately appear on the monitor. Transmission medium. It carries signals from camera and transmits them to the monitor for viewing and further recording. Main types are coaxial cable, ethernet, twisted pair wire, network cable and fiber optics. Coaxial cable and ethernet are the most common transmission medium but fiber optics is the best. Monitors. Selection of right monitors is as significant for the quality of an image as it is for cameras, lenses and other components. Typically, function of monitors is to display one or more video images produced by the cameras. Various types of monitors are available these days like PC, monochrome, CCTV, cathode ray tube, CRT, liquid crystal display, LCD, organic light emitting diode, LED, OLED, and plasma, etc. Recording. The main purpose of recording equipment is to record the video proceedings for future use, which may be for assessment, investigation, and evidence. Different types of recording equipment like DVR, NVR, server, cloud application, managed video system, etc. are available but the user has to select appropriate system as per requirements. This decision will lead to selection of the most appropriate type of recording system, video imaging, degree of resolution, quality, and number of images per second per camera. Switches and multiplexes. In any typical VSS, there are more cameras than monitors and recording devices. Switches and multiplexes are used to route the multiple video signals to monitors and recorders which are duly designed and programmed according to the security requirements. Lighting. Lighting is another prime segment of VSS, as the quality of display produced by the cameras and lenses also depends on the nature and quality of lighting. VSS Designing Salient Principles As applicable in any other project management process, thorough planning and systematic design is key for productive deployment of VSS. While designing VSS, following points are to be kept in mind. The best VSS design should not stipulate any model or brand of the equipment, rather recommended system along with its spares. Should be competitively available in the market off the shelf. VSS works as a visual tool in any security system and must be planned and applied accordingly.
application and requirement dictate the nature of the equipment, system and not the other way round. It is best to design an application before establishing a budget. Detection is not complete without an assessment. Over the period of time, it has been established that humans are poor detectors but are good at assessments. So, we should use required equipment for detection and humans for assessment of any detection. During an alarm, quality of the VSS must produce desired images to make an accurate assessment. The expected quality of an image is determined first by the camera and lens, second by the transmission method and finally by the reproduction capability of the image storage system. It is possible to have several video transmission methods within a single system. Step-by-step -step designing of VSS. In general, security is considered as non-productive segment of any organization. It is due to this factor that precise application and cost effectiveness becomes the prime objectives of any security-related project. And to achieve above, it is obligatory to have thorough thought process behind any VSS placement. Step 1 Designing of VSS The first and foremost step is to precisely document the purpose of whole VSS and writing down functional, operational requirements and the overall objectives which are expected to be achieved from the whole VSS. These objectives should be well in line with recommendations proposed in risk assessment of the premises. If there is any possibility of integration of different security subsystems, that has to be made part of the design. Step 2 Job Description JD, of each camera Detailed JD of each camera has to be absolutely clear in the mind of the designer. Resultantly, JD of each camera has to be defined in detail and must be reduced to writing and especially it becomes extremely vital when a VSS has to integrate with other physical security components like alarms and response. Step 3 Selection of each camera. While selecting, camera gets priority over the lens. The choice of camera should be based on sensitivity, resolution, features and other design factors of cameras. Sensitivity is the suggested light required by a camera to produce image. Whether camera is required for indoor or outdoor use, availability of light in the area and whether the light is constant or variable. Resolution is a quality of picture produced by a camera. Analog cameras are featured through number of horizontal lines, whereas digital cameras are measured through pixels. The desired quality dictates the type of resolution. Megapixel or digital camera would be able to cover as much area as two or possibly three analog cameras would. Features are the important functions which are to be considered while selecting the cameras. Some of those features are automatic gain control, electronic shuttering, backlight compensation etc. Other design factors which are to be considered while installing cameras are the environment in which it is to be used and the transportation medium of signals from camera to monitor or storage device. Step 4 Selection of Lens the choice of lens primarily depends on the size of the scene and the amount of visual identification required. We will now briefly see the qualities and types of some very common lenses. Wide-angle lens, as its name suggests, shows scenes from a wide angle and is suitable for short distances between 0 to 15 feet. Standard lens is suitable for medium distances between 15 to 50 feet. Telephoto lens provides coverage of a long distance area but presents a narrow view. Long range is considered any distance beyond 50 feet. Zoom lens is movable and adjusts varying distances according to the requirement, either by motor or manually. A motorized zoom lens can also be programmed to track the desired object. A zoom lens can cover all the distances between wide angle to telephoto lenses. Step 5 Recording or Storage VSS should be designed in a manner that it holds the necessary quantity and quality of required data. Organizations must clearly decide the purpose of the video that is to be collected. It is equally important to decide about the image resolutions, rate and the number of days of recording that has to be stored. The confidentiality integrity availability CIA triad, of any information is always critical for any organization. VSS, especially internet-based, is understandably vulnerable to cyber risks, as their videos and surveillance material is viewed and stored, virtually. Step 6 Integration of VSS with other systems. All security systems should be integrated with VSS. 
In an ideal security system, various subsystems can be integrated for example, VSS, intrusion detection system, access control, communication, building management, lighting, HR etc. Step 7 Organize maintenance. Periodic maintenance is absolutely essential for having continuous operation of VSS. Maintenance operation should be meticulously planned for complete life cycle of the system. Step 8 Periodical audits. Periodical audits and assessments for the performance of VSS should be regularly carried out, but must be conducted at least once in a year. These audits and assessments should be completed by professionals and would be most appropriate if it is conducted by someone from outside the organization. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed. Goodbye.